We will now move on from plastics to burgers. Next speaker is Richard Bergfors. The production of beef is a major contributor to the emission of greenhouse gases. So how do you build a climate conscious burger company? To answer this question, we welcome Rickard Bergfors, CEO at Swedish Max Burgers. Rickard, the stage is yours. Thank you. Uh, Max is Europe's oldest uh, burger chain. Uh, it was started by my parents, my mother and father. Uh, back in 1968, so 50 years ago, in in the very northern part of Sweden, uh, above the Arctic Circle. And I'm the CEO of Max since 2002. And today we have approximately 6,000 employees and restaurants in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Poland, Egypt and United Arab Emirates. Most of our restaurants are still uh, owned and operated by the family. And surveys show that we have the best tasting burgers in all the markets that we operate. But surveys also show that Max is seen as one of the most responsible companies. So it's not strange that we have pride. So the last 16 years, we have doubled our turnover every fourth year. And we are now rapidly expanding international. But Let's have a look at Max carbon footprint. Analyze all the way from the farmer's land to the guest stand. Here comes our figures for 2016. Transport, which comes top of mind for so many people, just make up 3% of our emissions. Packaging, which is a big part of the eating experience, adds another 3%. Plant-based food, is 13%, then that includes all veggies, all beverages, all buns, and all fries. Then comes beef, some whooping 65% of our emissions. And finally, 13% other animal-based, such as bacon, chicken, egg, fish, cheese, and so on. So what do you do when, when your core product is a major climate villain? and should be reduced. When Max signature product, or cash cow if you will say that, is currently incompatible with the dreams of a family company that is built to last. Well, for us, the first step was to admit that we were a part of the problem, which means that we have to be a part of the solution. And how do we become a part of the solution? Well, apart from some fairly straightforward climate initiatives like switching over to 100% wind energy since 2008, we also implemented many energy efficient programs. Uh, we switched to green company cars, green transportations. We have also done some more uncommon ones like upcycling of fry oil to diesel and soap, becoming full fully palm oil free and having food waste and other waste below 1%. But to the really unique ones, we are the first restaurant chain in the world to put the, food, the full food climate impact directly on the menus, so our guests have the opportunity to make informed decisions. We are the only burger chain in the world that are planting trees uh, to fully compensate for ours and our suppliers' climate emissions. Uh, so far, we have planted something like 1.4, 1.5 million trees that suck down carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And that's equivalent to, to 4,000 soccer fields, or as if you took 160,000 cars off the planet for a year. But we also changed our menu. We have crea created the widest range of green burgers in the industry. And this is our most profitable product launch ever. A green burger has 50 to 80% lower climate impact than a red meat burger. And when I was a kid, 
I was paid in burgers when I work at the restaurants. And many, many thousand burgers later, I still love burgers. Uh, I, I even eat burgers at Christmas. And, and I would say that our whole family and our whole company is obsessed with burgers. And that burgers passion has proven to be very useful to do something really important for the climate. To make sure green burgers taste as good as normal burgers. Our goal is that in just four years time, every second sole meal at our restaurant should be made of non-red meat. And if we succeed in that, which I'm very positive that we will, we have reduced our total climate emissions by 30% in just a little bit over five years time. Thank you. Some scientists are indicating we should make plans to adapt to a four degree hotter world. Business as usual means about four degrees warmer, which is approximately one ice age in the opposite direction. Based on today's temperatures, we are going to hit two meters of sea level rise, no matter what. We are in a race against time. It takes a double whammy to understand. It takes repeated shocks. We need a global movement that demands real change. We don't have time to speculate. We don't have time is absolutely correct. As we know, we don't have time. There's no more time. Yes, we don't have time. We use the hashtag. We don't have time. We don't have much time. We don't have time to wait.